Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia, affecting around 49 million people worldwide. There's no cure for Alzheimer's disease, but research continues to provide new insight into how it affects the brain. We now know that Alzheimer's starts at least 10 years before symptoms appear. Earlier diagnosis will be key to effective intervention and management of the disease and aid the quest to find treatments that may slow the development of the symptoms of Alzheimer's or even halt its progression. This would give hope to millions and allow them to live fuller, longer lives. Researchers are not only focused on finding effective medicines, but are also developing more helpful diagnostic tools. Advances in brain imaging are revealing microscopic changes to the brain, which allow more accurate diagnosis of people with early Alzheimer's. Similarly, changes in other biomarkers found in cerebrospinal fluid and blood could help identify people with Alzheimer's years before symptoms occur. All this scientific endeavor emphasizes the need for ongoing clinical trials to identify potential new treatment options for patients at pre-symptomatic and symptomatic stages of Alzheimer's. To date, most clinical research has focused on amyloid-based treatments in symptomatic Alzheimer's patients. However, scientists continue to explore other paths that could provide new treatments, such as targeting the tau tangles, which typically appear in the brain many years before Alzheimer's symptoms are apparent. Two major clinical studies recently conducted by Tau Rx using a tau targeting treatment have shown promising results in people with the early symptoms of Alzheimer's. A new trial, already underway, will investigate whether low doses of the TAR-RX treatment could delay disease progression in early Alzheimer's. This clinical study will offer low-dose oral treatment to 375 patients in North America and Europe with either mild cognitive impairment or an early stage of Alzheimer's. At TAR-RX, we believe that only with ongoing research can we understand more about Alzheimer's and thereby offer real and practical help to patients and their families.